Hello my friends, welcome back to my channel, Diamonds and Washi. My name is Katie and if you are new here, hey, welcome. I hope you'll consider subscribing for lots more diamond painting content. And if you are back, welcome back. Today I am here with an unboxing from Crafties. So uh, Crafties actually sent this over uh, for me to share with you guys, along with a couple other kits that you'll see over the next couple months as well, I believe. Um, but Crafties is a diamond painting company that offers legally licensed diamond painting kits. They also have paint by number and they have customs as well. I've been working on Crafties kits on and off for the past three years and they, they have some really cute, beginner friendly and budget friendly kits that are licensed and um i think they've gone through some changes as well over the past uh, over the past year or two like i know that they used to come in um different boxes in this one now it just comes in your basic white box and i think they may drop ship i'm not totally sure about that um but we're going to take a look at the one that was included in here and hopefully i can give you a sense for for what they have to offer and so yeah we'll take a look like i said this is just a plain white box that it came in um a lot of times with these more budget friendly diamond painting companies that that's kind of how you'll see stuff uh, packaged and shipped uh but the particular kit i have to share with you guys today okay everything is in here um it's called florally and it's by the artist sybil art now this is a kit that they have had for quite a while this is one of the first kits that they had on their website when they launched i think it was around three years ago um and i was curious to see like if this had gone undergone any changes like if they had changed the charting or what kinds of diamonds were offered uh so we'll take a look but it came wrapped in that in that plastic there there are some creases um to see if those are the kinds of things that will come out this does feel like the same material of canvas as the ones that i have worked on from crafties before um and they do they do lay flat decently well but this one this one is one that might have to go under a mattress or something heavy to really help those those creases lay flat let me try this too let's see what the glue looks like underneath okay this is one way you can help it lay flat. I do remember putting my crafties canvases under a mattress before. Um, and it usually did okay. That glue is a little rough. Well, you know what? It seems to be most, mostly visual. So it might do okay. I think it'll do okay. I'll let them know. I'll just let them know about that too. Just an FYI to them. But uh, yeah, if you pull back the plastic cover like this and then uh, lay it back down flat, that should help some. And you can put it under something heavier under a mattress. But this is just, I'm being totally honest and transparent with you guys. Okay, a little bit of plastic I accidentally just ripped off. Uh, that is definitely something that I value on my channel. But um, anyway, like I said, this piece is called Florally. It's by Sybil Art. And it's, you could probably maybe tell if you're seeing, especially my hands in frame here, kind of working on this, uh, that it is a nice, small, kind of snack size painting, which uh, it's nice to have these smaller size kits to work on in between or to take a break from a lot larger kits. And I've been really happy with how the ones I've worked on have turned out. Now, I haven't actually completed one of their their newer kits because some of their kits their newer releases they offer in multiple sizes and you can choose round or square diamonds <coughs> um but i'm gonna try even just doing that see if that helps a little bit uh, but this is like i said one of their original older releases and it looks like they've kept the charting um, i feel like some of these original releases they're very clearly hand charted you can tell that it has like these really crisp and clean lines to it and um and so I, I just, I suppose I'd recommend taking a close look at the rendering on the website so that you know kind of what to expect because I think that maybe some of their newer releases, which I have unboxed before, I'll try to have links to those unboxings below, uh, have maybe been more computer charted, but this one still looks to, even if they've changed the manufacturer, this one still looks to be hand charted. Now let me, let me show you what all was included. We do have our bag of diamonds here and then we have a basic toolkit. And the toolkit includes, well, it, came, it comes with two pens with a couple of different sizes of multi-placer on the end and a couple of squishies as well. And then we have a pair of these, they're, ooh, they're like little metal tweezers. <laughs> they're not very sharp, but uh, they would certainly you know, do the job. 
And then we've got uh, some pink wax. Be sure, by the way, to peel off the, there's a thin plastic film on there. You wanna make sure you peel off before you try to load up your pen. And then we have a tray. Oops, <laughs> sorry, butterfingers. A little white tray here. So very basic toolkit, but honestly, I feel like this is designed to be a really beginner and budget friendly kit in general. I'm not expecting, you know, anything, uh, anything beyond this when it comes to a basic, you know, when it comes to a toolkit that's going to come with this. Now, as far as taking you on a little tour of the canvas here, uh, so we have their crafties branding at the top. And then over here, we've got, they've got the model number. The name, which is Florally, the size, this is 40 by 50 centimeters. And then there's a thumbnail and then the schematic. And this I think is gonna be a special drill color. And I believe these two likely will be as well. We'll take a close look once we're actually looking at the diamonds. Um, and here's kind of a look up close. You can see the symbols are really clear. And, you know, hand charting, I think is, it's, it's a little more obvious when a piece is hand charted because you see there is very minimal confetti. There's a lot of like clean and crisp uh, lines with these. And I feel like a lot of Sybil Arts pieces with crafties are this hand charted look and have some of these, these special drills that we'll take a look at. But I would just let you know that from my experience with the kits I have unboxed from crafties, not all of them necessarily are going to have the same... Um, the same like special drill offering. So you just wanna take a look at the description boxes of, of the kits you're looking at buying. Uh, we have their website here, Crafties, and then they do have social media as well. So I'll link to these if you wanna take a look and give them a follow. Let's do a measurement too. So 40 by 50 centimeters is what it is listed as. And we've got um, a tick shy of 50 centimeters, but maybe yeah, no, it's really close. I give companies a centimeter or two of wiggle room for what it's worth. And just a tick shy of 40 top to bottom. I'm definitely calling that true to size. Now this kit, like I said, um, it has 28 colors according to the legend. While there's not a separate paper legend, I actually don't have a problem with that at all. That's been the case with um, past crafties kits that I've completed. These, these Sybil art ones, I think I've done two, maybe three. And I was so happy with how they turned out. They're so pretty. I'll link to the post reviews below if you wanna see. But um, I didn't mind that it, it didn't come with a separate like paper legend or sticker sheet because it's such a small kit it's very easy to just refer to the legend on the canvas alternatively like if I wanted to make um, sticker labels for my storage containers for these diamonds what I can do is I can make a copy of this or take a picture of it and print it and I can feed that paper through a um, there's a nifty little tool that you can get on Amazon that's called a Xyron sticker maker and uh, you can make little sticker labels using that by feeding the paper through. So I will also try to remember to link that in the description box as well. So uh, let's take a look at these diamonds. I'm loving the colors that I am seeing. All right, so. On the packaging themselves, uh, on, the, on the packs themselves. So we have the number 17, which corresponds to on the legend here. Let's see, on the legend here we have the number 17. This in the right hand column is the DMC color code. It's the color code system most diamond painting companies do use, and that includes crafties. However, the DMC code is not printed on the packaging. So if you're one that likes to save your leftover diamonds, um, you're gonna have to refer to the legend on the canvas so that you know what the DMC code is for it. But um, yeah, the numbers that you see here are just the legend number and it's going in order. Now Crafties uses uh, round diamonds for for some, some well for some of their kits they offer both round and square and for some like this one it only is available in round and I actually think that may be a way to tell if you're getting a kit that is more hand charted is if it's only offered in the one size and one drill shape. So it's I guess kind of like what you're wanting out of a painting is what is what you look for. Okay, so this color 14 this is the background color I would about put my money on it. So. Yeah, wow. Holy cow. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine bags of number 14. Number 15 there. And then this 
some more gorgeous colors. Ooh, okay, yeah, so um, number three, this one is one of the ones that had kind of a special purple highlight on it here that said 102. This is a crystal diamond. Now, crystal diamonds, they have the silver backing on them that covers up the symbol all the way and really helps the, uh, the crystal-y kind of glassy effect really come through and be really clear. And some of these like older Sybil art pieces like this one um, have these crystals charted. I don't think most of their newer kits do, but I love the crystal effect and the fact that they're hand charted. So it was one of the things that drew me to crafties initially three years ago or however long it's been. So I've, there's one crystal here and I think we have one more crystal color. We do. Okay, so number five is a crystal color as well. So side by side here, it's two shades of purple that are really close. This one on the left is just a tiny bit lighter than the one on the right. So two crystal colors. I will show you where these crystals go. And I think we have one more special draw color in here. We'll take a look at when we get to it. What is that 28, I think? Taking a look at all these colors. Oh, it kind of skips here. It goes from 13 to 24 in this strand. 28 is a clear, almost like a kind of a white, white clear crystal drill color. Ooh, that's real, that's nice, actually. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay, so this kit comes with those three crystal colors. Now let's look at the canvas and find where those crystal colors go. Um, I think some of their newer canvases come with actual ABs as opposed to crystals. If I'm remembering correctly. Okay, so we have a little handful of the white crystals or the clear crystals right here. What were the symbols for the purple? A Z and a Y. Okay. Which one was which? Z was darker, Y was lighter. Okay, so we have some of the darker crystal right here. And let's take a look. I don't want to miss it. Um, ooh, you guys, you see the little white dots sprinkled through here? They're sprinkling of it kind of all um, on top of some of these flowers in her hair. That's the clear or white crystal. And then there's a bunch of the clear and white crystal right here in this flower. This is the letter Y. This is the lighter purple crystal. In here we have a mix of the lighter and darker purple, pure purple crystals in this, in this little flower petal. We have the clear crystal right here and here around this flower. This flower is the white crystal. This is the white crystal. A little bit of the dark purple, kind of little bunches of four or five in here. And then if we hop over to this side, we have some of the white clear crystals sprinkled throughout here, the little white dots you're seeing as well. A bunch of the dark purple crystal here and here. This is the light purple crystal here and here. And then at the top here, I see a little bit of the, oh, no, that's not right. Sorry, I almost told you that the wrong symbol is the wrong thing. Light purple crystal right here and right here. And a little bit of the light crystal over here, a little bit of the dark crystal right here. So I do really like that that special drill color placement. And uh, like I said, that really is, oh, I forgot, I forgot, I just saw, I just looked down and noticed. Okay, her hand, there's a line of the white clear crystal on the outside here doing an outline. And on these fingers and right here too, there's the light clear crystal as well as right here, sprinkled through here and here as well. Oh, I see the light purple crystal here too. Okay, sorry, I missed so much. Okay, I think, I think that's about everything. Forgive me if I missed anything. Um, hold that thought. The light crystal outlines her face too. Sometimes I'm hesitant about special drills and skin tones, but I think this may work uh, because this is stylized and it is a subtle crystal, I think. So I think that'll probably be okay. I have to try it and find out. But anyway, uh, this is Flora Lee from Crafties and Sybil Art. I am honestly, I'm disappointed about the creases that are happening in here. I think that that really comes from them switching to maybe these basic white boxes, which this was just taped together. This box was taped to the two other boxes from the others they sent me and then just wrapped in kind of that plastic, um, 
kind of trash bag type material. And so I feel like with a little bit of extra packaging that might have prevented this from getting smashed in these creases from getting so defined. So that is that is a little bit disappointing uh, to be honest with you. But the only reason I'm not having a stronger reaction to that is because I did have some slight creasing in one of my other crafties kits and it did turn out fine. Like I put it between a mattress, <laughs> my mattresses and, um, and once it had diamonds down as well, it's it's laying flat and it does look really nice completed. But I, I understand if you're hesitant when you see that as well. Um, I guess this is part of getting diamond paintings from a, a more budget friendly diamond painting company as well, comparatively. And I also just want to mention one more time that I do think that there is some variety in terms of what Crafties offers when it comes to diamond paintings. Um, this, along with some of the others that were, you know, offered really early on, I think are hand charted um, as opposed to computer charted. And I think that some of their more recent kits have more of a computer charted effect. I have one of their more recent kits that I will be unboxing. Um, I think in the next couple of months and so we could take a look at that together and I'll have other unboxings I've done from Crafties linked in the description box below. Um, but the best suggestion I have is that if you're if you're not sure and you want to to know um, their their indications like when you go to buy a kit it'll so if it offers like a choice between drill shapes <laughs> square around drills or multiple sizes I, I think that is one of their newer kits and there probably are not crystals included. Um, Maybe. Uh, I, haven't, I haven't gone through and thoroughly checked every listing on their website, but that I think has been my experience so far. Whereas opposed to some of these older kits where it's only offered in one size and um, only offered in one drill shape, I think it, it it's more likely like in this case that it's going to be hand charted and does have potentially some crystals included. So um, I will say I've completed two, I believe, of these Sybil Art kits from Crafties and was delighted with how they turned out. They were so pretty. The effect of the crystals is gorgeous. And that was one of the reasons that this was one of the ones that I, I picked out and asked if they would send me was because I know that I love how this, this artwork turns out from Crafties. And I think they do a really lovely job with it. And I think that in spite of the, the creases and everything, everything that is still really good for the price point. So um, I'll have this one linked in the description box below if you would like to take a look at it. Um, feel free to do so. And if nothing else, I hope that this unboxing was helpful and lets you know about another company that's out there that offers licensed diamond paintings. And uh, I, I hope I get to work on one of their th these simple art kits that I've gotten from them soon so I can show you how gorgeously they turn out and just to confirm that like these these creases are really gonna are really gonna go away. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. If you want to stay up to date with my diamond painting content, I try to unbox a lot of different companies here on my channel and review them as well. Um, I'd love to have you as part of my community. Feel free to subscribe and let me know what you think down in the comments below. I hope you have a day that's as amazing as you are and I will chat with you in the next one. Bye.